Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 1st, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update as we just had quite a large event happen on our sun. Having a look here at the last two days of imagery, you're going to be watching the bottom left-hand region here for a strong M-class solar flare. Look at that blast of cosmic energy coming from a very active sunspot region was noted and pointed out over the last few days in the latest updates. But I'm pointing out here the most recent events, long and strong M-class solar flare and as well another M-class solar flare that was Earth-facing in the equatorial region. Let's put this into motion now. Look at that. It did produce a very large coronal mass ejection as being visualized here, but a lot of plasma and cosmic energy associated with this large blast. And we haven't even gotten all the complete images yet as it is still blasting away. Having a look at it, 304 angstroms, this is where we can see the plasma filaments at play. Now I did note the plasma filaments equatorial region on the right hand side which is outgoing that big spiraling column but there was some more activity in the equatorial region on the opposite side of the planet uh, the, of the sun and as well in the north so lots of plasma filaments dancing around the surface of our sun right now and this is heightened activity into solar maximum we're going to see more and more events like this now, especially the strong M-class solar flares. And that is evident over the past couple months, as we've seen. This is only showing the last 48 hours of events, and there's quite a bit of activity here. This incoming sunspot region is definitely a region to watch. This could produce one of our strongest space weather events of our time. Solar cycle 25, solar maximum, is here. Having a look at multi-spectrum, darkened region in the northern hemisphere. That is a coronal hole getting ready for Earth-facing party. And we're already being inundated by this coronal hole wind stream. Solar winds were up in over 400 kilometers per second. A KP index hopped up as well. As forecasted here with daily events worldwide, and the geomagnetic instability will continue over the next 24 hours. Current space weather conditions are two moderate radio blackout impacts expected, high frequency radio communications. Solar winds are coming in at 412 kilometers per second. Solar X ray fluxes, you can see here, strong and long duration M class solar flare. Solar proton flux instantly elevated. Geomagnetic activity did hop up to a KP5 yesterday. And this is where we got the space weather from. This is the current or the most recent space weather prediction spiral. 